Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Gonna Change. Today, we're going to be talking about what not to do with the cops compared to the video we saw the other day. Okay, let's get right into this. I'll set it up for you. So what ends up happening is this cop is looking for certain people, right? He's looking for a member. He's looking for some gang members. He's looking for somebody that's shown up on his warrant list. And so he goes to approach this guy. Instead of this guy trying to comply, even have a conversation with him, that is not how it goes at all. And this is where I tell you guys, listen, if you're already in trouble, you're already in trouble. But don't make it worse. Let's get it. Damn, bro. What am I being detained for, though? Bro. Damn, I'm not running. Bro, right now, bro. I wanna know what I'm being detained don't do it, bro. I'm don't do it, bro. Be... Can I put my pants up? No. Come Stop on, man. fighting I'm me, bro. I'm not fighting you, bro. I'm, I'm Keep not your hands behind you. Let me your... turn that up for you guys. I know y'all can't hear it. Sorry if y'all can hear the rain. It's raining pretty bad out here today. Bro. What am I being detained for, though? Bro, Man, I'm not running bro, right now, bro, I just want to know what I'm being detained Don't do it, bro. For. Don't do it, bro. Be... Can I put my pants up? No. Come on, Stop man. fighting I'm me, bro. I'm not fighting you, bro. I'm, I'm Keep not your hands behind me. your back I'm so I can detain you. Man. I don't want no right. trouble. I'm not doing nothing, bro. Can I know what you're doing this for? The officer's body camera fell off as he tried to chase Torin. He was eventually caught, tackled to the ground, and handcuffed by the officer. Okay, so let's uh, <laughs> let's rewatch that. So, what was the plan here? So you get running. Right? Let me unmute it right quick so we can play it. So you get the running right. So here he takes off. Look how slow this interaction is. This cop has enough time. He's barely jogging. Has enough time to get his, oh, whatever he has hanging down here, get it back up. And let's see, look what he does with the tree. This guy stops behind the tree. <laughs> like that was gonna help. Look, he's like, oh, 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 oh. Like, what was the plan? Now he's already gonna be in trouble for resisting arrest, right? He was getting detained because he had looked, like I said, he looked like one of the people who was gang members. He was just gonna, you know, take his chances. But here's the thing: is if the cops were wrong, you're gonna be out of those handcuffs. But now you didn't took off, which makes you look more guilty. And that was the plan. You did all that just to get more charges. Oh my gosh, let's continue. Not Hello. Yes. I'm take my money, man. I, I, I'm not taking your money. Look, look, please, look. You got that taken I'm care not of. resisting. Look, look. It's, did you look? This man just said, I'm not resisting after he just took off running. See, at this point, now he's trying to be nice. You, What's your last name, Torian? Damn, man. Look, could you undo the belt, bro? Please. Before you pull it, can you do the belt, bro? All right, now. It's got my nuts clapping in the belt. It's got my nuts clapping in my belt, bro. We're going to move the cuss to the behind you. Don't fight me. Don't fight me. I'm going to put your cuss behind you. Please. Wow. I'm going to take it off one I, of your I arms. Fight. I ain't doing nothing. And we're going to put it behind you. You understand? Yes, yes. You, you want to do it in front, huh? So you can see some people have this... Uh, humor i only reason i watched i show that part because there's another video i watch and I, i'm still contemplating on showing it but nonetheless it's, it's a quite an interesting video where a girl tries to seduce the cop um and she says something not quite that way but she says something much further down the road um i can say she says something very vulgar and it's just like wow but it's a very sad sad video um and we probably will break that down that'll be more of a video on human actions of when Life hits at you hard, man, and you're young. Let's continue with this video. So pretty much what ends up happening is they end up throwing him in the car, and he tries to defend himself. Zero five five four nine seven zero seven four. Negative zero five five seven nine seven. Hey, I can't see my glasses. You got my glasses over there, man. But that does look like him. My glasses is over there, man. My glasses That's you. is over there. You Torian. You heard me? You go under arrest. Over there, man. Cool. I'll tell you what happened. I'm gonna run the window. Give my glasses. I haven't ID'd him yet. Can you ID him? I'm please. Blind, bro. I'm legally blind. Help! Help! Sorry guys, it's loud. Help! You headphone users. Turn your headphones down. Come on, man! It's loud for me. See, I want to stop right there right quick. Why would you do something like that?
Do you think trying to get out of the car is helping you? Help! Once again, sorry. Come on, oh, man. Stop right here. Right. So this man said, I'm not resisting arrest. I'm not trying to get away from you guys. And he tried to open the door, which was obviously not going to happen. But what was your plan? So you open that door. What are you going to do? Take off running. What are you going to do? Just uh, beg for these glasses of yours. Like, this is the stuff that you have to think through. He may be panicking because he knows what the end results are going to be. He's going to be in jail for maybe quite some time, right? And he's like, dang it, I was just living the life, man. I'll tell you what, I have experience not with drugs or anything like that, but I've been arrested before um, doing something foolish. And it's, it's, it does suck because you're like, man, if I would have just took a left instead of a right. All this stuff is going through your head right before it. Obviously, I never resisted arrest like this. It was, I just took my punishment and said, well, I guess I'm going to be eating gravy and biscuits in the morning. Um, because I normally, I never stayed over one night. Okay, I'm, I'm a square, like I told you guys. Um, I was out in the morning. It's just the, where I lived, you couldn't get out. You couldn't just go there and bail out immediately. You had to see a judge first. So I don't know how some of these people do it, but every time I went to jail, I had to see a judge. Okay? Now, obviously, guys, I haven't been arrested since I was a teenager, but nonetheless. Come on! Come on, man! You know, I'm gonna turn it down. This part's just loud. It's loud for me. But this is him just struggling, man. This is him just struggling. So, as we continue on with this thing, you're gonna see that he blames the cops and says that the cops planted drugs on him. At no point did I ever see that uh, happen, but you know how it goes. Let's continue. Here, by the way, this is his mom in the back. That's a nice little neighborhood. What's that? Two bedroom house? Calm down. Calm down. Here's just a random note. The one thing I hate about garages on houses is they take up too much floor space. This could be, this could easily be a one bedroom house. This could be living room, kitchen, garage, bedroom, bathroom. I hate the houses with uh, garages. I'd rather have a separate garage. That way I get as much floor space as possible. Garages, sometimes they make the house so small. I know that's kind of goofy, but as you can see, he Did y'all see that? The man begged for his glasses. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I'm not, I remember, these videos are old, so we're not laughing at the individual. I'm laughing at the situation. But nonetheless, you see how he was <laughs> just chilling. <laughs> you know, they put that there on purpose, but it, he begged for these glasses just as soon as he gets them on. <laughs> he throws them off. Calm down. Calm down. Hey, this man just lied, bro. Say. So you hear that he said, man, these people just lied. This is because he said that they planted drugs on him. Which he later missed to is his. The head banging. We will see that more and more in videos. We saw that in the very first video that we saw with the Latino woman. The head banging on the thing, man. If one that just shows that somebody is stressed out, dep not depressed, distressed, and they're also starting to panic because they hate being in handcuffs. They hate being confined. Some people have claustrophobia. Um, and so they start to go insane. So they just start hurting themselves. This person, I, I would think, is just a tad bit off. Um, there may be some, some mental um, illness going on there because most normal people don't tend to bang their heads. That's why I showed you all the video I showed you all yesterday showing you all that some people, they know how to act, but some people, they go insane when they get in these cop cars. This part's loud, so I'm not going to turn it on. Hey, ain't get no drugs off me, man. He took everything out of my pocket already, man. See? Officer? Officer! By the way, this channel, if you can't see, is called Police Insider. If you want to go watch this whole video yourself. I don't sell drugs. So, I don't give a fuck. I don't do drugs. I don't sell drugs. Ain't no way. No way to run that body cam back. See? See if you got it off me. Oh, damn well. Lying, bro. He lying, bro. Get no f***ing drugs off me, man! See? 
man, it is raining hard right now. But, man, to me, it's just kind of like, if you didn't do these things and it's not true, I don't see why you would react the way you were acting. I don't do no drugs. I ain't done no drugs. They ain't get no drugs off me. But your reaction is to bang your head against the window. For me, it just, to me, it just seems like he's trying to convince himself that he didn't do them. Like he's trying to say it on the, he maybe know he's being recorded or something like that. Or he thinks people can hear him. And he's just like, I didn't have no drugs. There's just no way. It's impossible. But I believe so that he may have had drugs on him. But, you know. When I saw the video back and they run into his pants, he pulls out quite a bit, but I don't see them pull out anything, but they don't show drugs on these kind of videos. So even if there was drugs, they tend to cut that part out because this is YouTube. <laughs> so I don't know. Where you headed? The house right there? Yeah, sure. All right, let's hit the cold sack and make a loop. All right, let's continue forward here. Uh, y'all, I'm seeing stuff. What is this over here? These drugs right here? I'm seeing some stuff that, what is that on the front of the hood? Drugs? On the top of the car? Yeah, drugs. Possibly. I'm talking about on the front oh, of this hood. This yeah. Possibly. It looked like drugs. But how, what is that even linked to me for? Because it was in the vicinity that you ran from him in. That, what they got to do with me? My glasses was too. There you go, everything that's in that vicinity. He took everything out of my pocket. He didn't get no drugs off of me, man. He, over there, he snatched, he, he had me on the ground, me and my chest. He snatched the cigarillo. The, I'm telling you what happened. I know. You weren't here. I, I wasn't here. But I'm telling you what happened. He snatched everything out of my pocket. Right then and now. I ain't have nothing. I don't, man, I ain't have no drugs on me, man. All right, can you get his glasses out the other floorboard? That's why um, they end up opening the door because this whole time he's just begging for the glasses. Get no drugs off of me. I didn't have no drugs on me. Uh, that My glasses fell off when he tackled me. The, 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 he snatched everything out of my pocket. And then the other officer held me while he snatched everything else out of my pocket. Doesn't mean you didn't throw so he said the glasses fell off when he tackled him. So let's take it one step back. Me, bro. Here you see, you have the glass. On. No, keep it in your mouth right now. Most people want it in their mouth. Damn, bro. What am I being detained for, though? Bro. Damn, I'm not running. Bro, there, bro. I don't, know what I'm being detained don't do it, bro. For. I'm don't do it, bro. Do Can I put my pants up? No. Stop on, fighting man. I'm me, not bro. Fighting you, bro. I'm, I'm keep not your hands me. behind your back I so I can detain you. I don't want to trouble. I'm not doing nothing, bro. Can I know what you're doing this for? The officer's body camera. Let's take a step back fell off as he tried to chase Torin. So he said he the was eventually fell caught, off, tackled to tackle. the ground and Let's handcuffed watch. by the officer. Guys, it looked like the glasses fell off back. But you know what? When I'm running it back, I don't see the glasses fall off. I don't know. I doubt his glasses stayed on when he shook his head. Because you saw earlier when he shook his head in the vehicle, his glasses fell completely off. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> Now we know why he was being detained. Armed robbery. He's on probation for armed robbery, and he had a warrant out, and that's the whole reason the cop was out there in the first place. The cop was out there because he had seen warrants, and he noticed that the guy matched the description that was on his warrant list. Some cops go out to go find certain people. Obviously, if you have city tickets, they're not going to do all that. But if you, you know, if you have crimes like armed robbery, of course, they're going to come look to you. You'd be broke probation. And that's why the cop is out there in the first place. It wouldn't matter. She said you got a warrant. You got a warrant. Like I just told you. Yeah. You got two cases, actually. Yep. Two cases. What two cases? Felony, pro felony cases that you're on probation for. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. And you know it now. No, I know Ten minutes ago you did it. You were saying that you wasn't. So it's different now between now and then. I'm going to I'm not on probation. I talked to her. When I first got out of prison, and we spoke, I was on parole. And then I stopped meeting. You're getting a damn floor right now, bro. This talk could have been avoided. You would be walking away right now had you not ran from me. Nervous as hell, man. I ain't okay. know what the hell I'm you just letting you know. Me. So, future, like, future, I'm, around, I'm just saying, future reference. <laughs> you probably, me up, man. Future reference, you probably ain't gonna want to do that, so you can walk away. But now you're going to jail. Look, look what's happening now, bro. I'm gonna be locked up, because man. Because you wanted to run. Okay. I, I'm, man, y'all the police, man. I'm scared of police. I'm scared the hell of the police, man. Okay. It's just a scrap. Like, Is it from the coast? No, it's. So, it sounded like they were gonna detain him, right? It sounded like he's gonna detain. 
and they were going to get him to go to court. Or he had broken parole or something. But because he ran, he was going. Now he has to get arrested. I'm assuming they were detaining him because he popped up on the warrant list, and they're going to be like, "Hey, what's going on?" Maybe they were going to be like, "Hey, you need to pay this much money because you'd have missed out on your court." I'm not sure of all the details. That's what I think he's saying. He's saying if you hadn't ran, I wouldn't have arrested you. I was simply detaining you because you were showing up on my warrant list and maybe we could have worked something out or maybe you could have just went to court and figured this out. But now that you ran, I had no choice. Now you have to be arrested. Now I have to take you because being detained, people, is not the same thing as being arrested. Somebody can handcuff you and just ask you a few questions. I think the reason he was detaining him was because he was like, I just don't want him to run and take off. I'm trying to do these conversations and he could do all that. But just a you know. superficial scratch. Y'all like, there's nothing no to more. bandage, man. All right, let's no go, more man. No dripping. All right. Don't make me fall, though. Okay. All right, so that's pretty much it. The reason I bring this whole video up, because the last video that we watched, I was telling you how the other woman probably got herself out of trouble because of how she was acting with the cops. Okay? If that woman had done the same thing this man did, as soon as they went to get detain her, remember, she got detained. She got arrested. But she was out that day. She was out the same night within a couple hours. I don't know what would have happened with this young man. But the point is, is if you run, <laughs> if you try to take off, you try to resist, you almost guarantee you're going to jail. I think the cop was saying it wasn't a guarantee you were going to jail. Maybe we could have said something, but you took off running instead of just getting detained and let me ask you a few questions because you were suspicious that we had suspicions that you were on a warrant and stuff like this. Um, nonetheless, of course, the cop could just be saying things too. So that is always a possibility. I'm just going to say, if the woman had, when she got detained, or when they said they were going to detain her because they had suspicion of DUI, and she took off running, as soon as she did that, conversation would have been over. There would have been no bailout. There would have been none of that. They would have felt completely different. All I'm saying is, I'm not saying the inter the outcome would have been completely different. He still wouldn't be going to jail. All I'm saying is that if you add on to it by running, resisting, it always leads to worse charges. And you even seen when he ran before, he had no plan. He ran and tried to play peekaboo behind a tree. Like, what? <laughs> there was no plan when he took off running. He just panicked. Guys, you got to keep your cool. Got to keep your cool when you're around these cops. And now I'm sure the man was scared because he had warrants. And I'm sure he knew that. And some people, they really just don't like being in handcuffs. Some people really hate being restrained. And anyway, as we'll see in more videos, restraining somebody is something that a lot of people hate. I've obviously restrained people in my life. It is not good. Okay. And it always goes south. Of, well, it doesn't always go south. For me, it went south a lot because I was dealing with certain kind of people, though. So, anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Do you think this man could have got out of this arrest if he had just done what he was told? Or you think he was going to jail no matter what? The cop is lying. I mean, who knows? If you've ever been in this situation, let me know. We're not here to judge this man. This is from years ago. Okay. This guy made a mistake. Obviously, he did armed robbery. There's obviously some things going on, man. I hope he got all the help that he needed. I hope his life is going well at this point. And I hope he turned it around, man. Um, these situations just show us, you know, the mistakes that we can make in this life and the human interactions that we can have with the policeman. That's all I'm trying to explain here. I don't catch any, uh, I don't know this individual, so you don't have to go show him hate or hate on this man for messing up. So, y'all let me know what y'all think. I'm gone.